Recently, I realized that my hydrating mask is empty, so I started googling the best drugstore hydrating mask because I wanted to buy a new one. One mask particularly caught my attention from Neutrogena because it had the most mentions, so I started googling it. I went to the Neutrogena website and I saw that it has so many reviews and 75% people recommended it. So I started thinking maybe I should give it a try. I immediately went to the drugstore next to my house named Shoppers Drug Mart. As you can see, it's always crowded as it's one of the best in Canada. They sell all kind of drugstore skincare including masks, creams, serums and even makeup products. Whenever I go there, trust me, I get lost cause there are so many products to choose. But today I'm here to buy the Neutrogena Hydro Mask only and yes, I found it. Okay, let's check the price now. The price is $5.79, which seems a bit higher to me. I also found another Neutrogena mask, but I will try it another day, so I'm putting it back. Now let's go back. While coming back, I saw a long queue of people standing in line to eat ice cream. Well, that's Toronto, guys. Everywhere there is a line. Well, I am home and it's time to unpack. In my opinion, the packaging looks really nice. Neutrogena has done a very good job and I like the blue color to be honest. Now check the ingredient list. Mm, well, they have propindol in the first and hyaluronic acid, well, it's far below in the list. Well, I'm already disappointed. The packaging has instructions. It says that I have to cleanse and then put the mask for 15 minutes and that's all. Okay, let's cleanse the skin now. I'm putting my headbands, I'm all ready, yes. I'm doing double cleansing, so first I'm taking a cleansing balm and massaging it for 30 seconds. After that, I will wash my face with lukewarm water. Now for second cleanse, I'm taking the milk cleanser and I will wash my face with cold water again. I'm patting dry my face because I want it to be dry before the mask application. You can use toner afterwards, but I'm skipping it. It's time to put the mask. I'm taking it out from the packaging. So it comes in white patches and in two sections. One is for your upper face and one is for your lower face. Now I'm applying the lower part of the mask on my lips and lower jaw or you can say lower cheek. And you can clearly see that I'm struggling. Like, is it only me who struggles to put sheet mask every time? Like, why? Oh my god. Okay, finally I'm able to do it. Yay! I'm putting the timer for 15 minutes as instructed. Now I will relax a bit. Hmm. Oh, it feels so good. My god. Okay, 15 minutes is over. Now I'm taking it off. Mm, I'm not seeing any differences. I mean, uh, where is the hydration? Okay, maybe after the moisturizer I will see something. Let's apply the moisturizer now. I'm doing a bit of the massage to increase the blood circulation and help the moisturizer to be absorbed on my skin. Nope, it's the same. I mean, what is this? Where is the Hydro Boost? Oh my god. Hi everyone, so I'm back. Here's the review of the Neutrogena Hydrating Hydrogel Mask. I bought that one, as you know, that, that one had a lot of reviews and I was expecting a lot from the mask because first of all, it's a hydrogel mask. And if you're not familiar with hydrogel mask, hydrogel masks are better than the usual mask, sheet mask we use, which are made from cotton fibers. So personally, I use sheet masks twice or once in my skincare routine. I love them because my skin is dehydrated, so they benefit my skin a lot. When I was buying this Neutrogena hydrogel mask, I was like really hopeful that it will work same as the usual or the traditional sheet mask because it has hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid is claimed to have super hydrating properties and people tend to go gaga over hyaluronic acid okay so i when i used it i was like okay maybe this will uh, do something on my skin and recently i had extreme sun damage so i was hoping <laughs> that my, my skin will have some hydration from it but unfortunately, I didn't see any difference. 
I mean, I must say Neutrogena tried its best to have all kind of hydrating ingredients inside of it. But uh, I don't know why. Like, I seriously don't know why it didn't work for me. As you know, hydrogel masks are completely different than the usual cotton cotton fiber mask, the sheet mask. Uh, and they work much better because they allow the ingredients to penetrate on your skin. When I saw that hyaluronic acid, I thought, okay, maybe, maybe it will do something. But nothing happened. For me, it didn't work. Do I recommend this hydrogel mask to you? <sighs> to be honest, although this one has a lot of good reviews and quite good ingredients and also hydrogel which they claim to be like biodegradable, to be honest there is nothing biodegradable but anyways they're claiming it. Uh, the mask was a 5 out of 10 for me. What my suggestions are to Neutrogena, I know I like they're not gonna listen to me but if I were Neutrogena what I would have done I would have made sure that I put a bit more um, serum uh, onto that mask because what I felt that there was not enough serum for my skin uh, to absorb, you know. So when I, like usually when I use the sheet mask and I take it over, I see that there are some leftovers on my skin um, because usually the Korean skincare products or the Korean sheet mask, they put a lot of serums. Like the amount is so huge even after putting on your face you can use on other parts of your body as well you know so I was expecting something like that but um, the serum the quantity of serum in that mask was very very little so as soon as I put that on my face my face instantly absorbed everything so there was nothing left for my face to absorb more as a result the hydration was not enough uh, I think uh, these masks are these masks are overpriced. I think they're overhyped, and I'm definitely not gonna buy them anymore. Um, if you want, you can give them a try. But if you ask my honest opinion, I would say that don't buy them. If you have to buy hydrogel mask or uh, sheet mask, better try the Korean ones because they are the queen or king of the sheet mask industry. If you are really looking for hydration. It's better to go to the Korean industry rather than to the Western industry. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any other products that you want me to try on behalf of you, you can let me know in the comment section. I'd be happy to help you, okay? Uh, so I'll see you next time. Until then, ciao!